Hey guys, this is just a video with me talking. So if you don't want to hear me ramble about camera gear and recent events, you know what to do. Okay, so as some of you may already know, I recently got the Sony a7S as my new main camera. The reason? My equipment got stolen. Yeah. So uh, my Canon 5D Mark III, my Sony RX100 Mark III, my Tamron lens, my batteries, my chargers, my, my photo backpack, pretty much everything except a few lenses got stolen. So I pretty much had to buy a new camera. Uh, after a lot of research, it stood between the Panasonic GH4 and this one. And although the internal 4K of the GH4 was very tempting, I felt that was the only advantage of that camera. So for me, which is used to the 5D Mark III with its full frame sensor and really good ISO performance, this felt like the natural successor. And believe me, this beast of a camera has insane ISO performance. And uh, although it only shoots in 1080p, the, the 1080p in this one is a lot better and clearer than the 5D Mark III. Okay, now I have 12,800 ISO. So it's definitely a worthy upgrade. I've been using uh, Canon uh, DSLRs for many years now, and I have been pretty satisfied, but I feel that in the recent years, they haven't been able to keep up with other competitors, such as Sony and Panasonic. That being said, my new secondary camera is the Canon 700D. I used to have the Sony RX100 Mark III, but uh, there were some disadvantages, which I really didn't like, which made me not use the camera that often. Perhaps the main reason is that it didn't have a microphone input. Uh, this one does, and it also had this genius flip screen, uh, in addition to a lot of really cool features. Uh, and to be honest, I'm really impressed with this little camera. So if you are a beginning filmmaker, I think this is probably one of the best options you can get for your money. Uh, and as I said, it's also really good as a secondary camera. Like if I shoot uh, an interview and need two angles, they work pretty good together. Uh, of course, uh, right after I had bought the A7S, the Mark II got announced. Uh, does that make the A7S one obsolete? I don't think so. It's still a genius camera in so many ways. Of course, Anders and I have done a lot of comparisons between the A7S and the GH4. So if you want to see a video about it, you can see in the link in the description. And of course, if you want to hear me talk more about the A7S or the 700D, or if you have any questions, please comment below. See you soon.